guys. Here's the little trailer I'm gonna make the camp on. Hunting camp. Tiny house, tiny camp, whatever you wanna call it. I got Carl the Kubota hooked up to it. Greg's over here, gonna help me. We're gonna put it in the shop, do some uh, modifications to it. I'll show you when we get in the shop what we're gonna do. bond out here got the trailer inside the shop behind me there so this is a boat trailer that I picked up um, it's homemade somebody made this thing it's got three axles on it and I want to build a camp so I'm pretty excited bought this thing probably a year ago haven't had a chance to work on it but I'm pretty excited to get working on at least get the frame ready um, as busy as I am I don't really get time to work on my own stuff but this is something I wanted to do a long time. I wanted to build this little um, camp on wheels. Um, it was long before, I had this idea long before they were doing tiny houses. I never even heard of a tiny house back when I thought of this idea. I just wanted to move my uh, camp out west and be able to move it when the hunting goes bad. So I'll show it to you. Here it is. She's a three axle. Like I said, it's a homemade boat trailer. There's a huge sailboat that they used to put on this thing. I picked it up for 800 bucks. So I gotta do some modifications to it. I think we're gonna take everything off of it first. And I don't know, there's some wood here. I'm gonna take that off and see what we gotta do. I know I gotta lengthen this rail right here. It's gotta lengthen it out where it cuts over there. I gotta make that straight out and over. That's one thing I gotta do. And I wanna widen it. I'm not sure if I gotta do fenders because it's kinda just a little bit of clearance there. So I might have to do some kind of fender. But it's got pretty low profile tires on it. And it's got three axles, but these are house trailer axles. Actually, that tire's flat. Yeah, that tire's flat. So that's what we're up to. Greg's helping. Right, Greg? <laughs> All right, we got to do something up front here. Probably widen this out. Like I said, bring that out. Maybe at least right to there. Keep that all straight and put some pieces in there. I bought some metal for it probably six months ago. I bought some of this tubing right here. So I got the materials to do it. I just got to, it takes time. Got to do it. We'll get going on it. At least get the, like I said, get the frame built. Anyways, get the trailer part built this winter. Okay guys, this is where we're at. Basically stripped a lot of the junk off the trailer. You know, the wiring, lights, and everything was kind of cobbed on here. Um, and this is where we're at. Trying to get some ideas on how to widen this thing out. It's like 77 and a half inches wide right now. And I think I want to make it eight feet wide. So I'm gonna take these jacks off here. It's got nice um, bulldog jacks on each corner. So I'm gonna take them off because I'm probably gonna end up relocating them. So I'm gonna cut them off of there. I got a couple in the front there. And then I'm debating on taking these out, like taking them out and either moving them up here or just taking them right out and not even having them. I think they were down low like that for the boat had clearance for the bottom of the boat could fit down in there. And I really don't want them hanging down there. 
So I'm thinking I'm gonna want some kind of skin underneath here, under here, just to keep uh, rodents and stuff out. So it's kind of what I'm thinking about doing is getting rid of them, cutting them out of there. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, but I'll have to grind all them welds and everything. And then obviously I'm gonna cut all these stupid things off. Got one there, one over there. And there's one here I'm going to take off. Another Bulldog Jacks. Two of them. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to get hacking away at this thing. And uh, see where we go. Not a big plan yet on uh, layout and everything. I just want to get this trailer to the size I want it. Which is going to be 24 foot long. Which it already is. 24 to here. So i got to wing this out, obviously. It's gonna be 24 foot long and I'm thinking I want the trailer eight foot and then with my eaves and everything I'll be within eight foot six right now those tires basically are about eight foot three apart so um, we're still within specifications you don't want to go over eight foot six wide and I think 13 and a half feet your height so we're good there so that's what we're gonna work on now so I found if you grind the top weld here and grind that side weld, this other one broke right off. Just kind of hit it. That's how we're getting them off of there. Oh yeah. Okay guys, here we are. Got all these stupid little plates off of here. Probably took me an hour, a little over an hour, hour and a half to grind all these stupid things off. Had them on each corner. There's one over there. That I took off. There's see that one there. Um, there was actually some inside the frame here. There was two, two over there. You can see them laying all over the floor. I didn't really have to take these ones that were inside the frame, but I really didn't like the looks of them. So, you know me. And I ground those two off the back there. And there. So that's where we're at. Getting getting it a little bit cleaned up here. It's looking better. Um, decide what I'm gonna do next. Maybe I'll take these these jacks off of here. <coughs> they got like a weld on plate. I'll probably use them, but I'm gonna relocate them probably to the outside of the frame. The frame's gonna be out farther. Like I said earlier. Okay guys, there's the update. I'll keep uh, videoing as we go here. I didn't think you wanted to watch me cut all those plates off for an hour and a half, so I didn't bother videoing that. Okay guys, so I'm gonna cut these off right there. I'm gonna cut them off so I can lengthen this this rail out to the front and widen everything. So I'm gonna cut them both off, those wing things. I'm thinking about putting them up here, but I'm not sure yet. But I'm definitely cutting them off there right now. I got the porta band. 
So I'm going to try that, see if I can sneak it in there and make some cuts and uh, lengthen them side rails out and figure out if I want to put them on the front here. Haven't decided yet, but I got to get them off anyway. So that's what we're going to do right now. I got this uh, Milwaukee Porta band with my buddy Matt. He let me borrow it. So I'm going to try that. All right, Grubby? All right, Bub? All right, buddy. We're gonna give her a whirl here. Hey guys, Bondo here. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. That's gonna help my channel out a lot. Um, channel's doing real well. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, guys, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification. We do a lot of cool stuff. Um, you can follow this build along. We're gonna, like I said here, I'm gonna build myself a hunting camp on wheels. Um, just like a tiny house but I'll probably build it a little bit lighter so I can move it around a little more make it a little more mobile maybe not built quite as heavy but you know um, join the team here subscribe you can watch this build um, check out my other videos we do a lot of uh, concrete and stuff too if you like concrete work um, all this kind of fabrication stuff building anything to do with building something check it out thanks again guys okay guys Time to bring out the big artillery. The bandsaw is not working. So we're going to try something else to cut that stupid thing off of there. The old target saw, hmm? Huh? This one cut right straight through. That one's good. There you go, that one's through. This one I couldn't quite get all the way through, so I think I'm gonna try to sneak a zip wheel on the grinder underneath and finish that cut. And that'll probably take care of that. Then I gotta cut that one off. I'm not gonna video both of them. You see how I did it. I gotta say that sucked guys we got her though there it is. I got some uh, grinding to do clean up all that mess and clean up that because I'm gonna be welding to that 
I'm gonna take you on to the other side. I'd open the door, the smoke detector was going off. This one I got a little too close, maybe. Not too bad, but less cleanup on it. And then that little cleaner cut. Well, God, it was a pain in the butt to take that off of there, guys. I might have left them on if I'd have known that. It was going to be that hard. But it's done now. Get it cleaned up with the grinder. Looking good. Okay, guys, so everything I can figure right there where that center line is is where this middle wheel should be. If you, I've looked at a few 24 foot trailers and I took some measurements off and most of them are dual wheel, but the, um, the wheels are centered kind of right over that, where that is, that mark right there that I made. So these wheels have these shackle bolts, these U bolts. So you can actually move these wheels back and forth. So. I couldn't move them the way this piece was on there, but now that I'm gonna run a new straight piece, I can move those axles up. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave them so they're removable, but I might. But I'll probably drive a bolt right straight through there. I don't really, I mean, I'll leave these, but I'd also put a bolt so they don't move. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do after I get this side rail here, all the way up to the front. I'll slide those axles up right where that like I said, that center mark will be this center wheel, dead center with that. And then I can kind of see how she balances out. Right now I'd be way too tongue heavy once I get it all done. I mean, there's a there's a lot of tongue there, weight there, the way they got the axles. They need to come forward. You can kind of see now, looking at the whole thing. Any of you tiny house people, let me know what you think of this frame that I picked up for 800 bucks. I think it's pretty heavy duty. Uh, get down in the comments, let me know what you think about it. Um, if you think it's strong enough or hey, I should beef it up in certain spots or whatever. I never really built a trailer like this to put a house on or a camp or whatever you want to call it, tiny house. So let me know in the comments what you think, guys. Thanks. Hey guys, I got this uh, mocked up for the getting ready to weld it. This is how I did it. You got it all ready there. I beveled it all out. So I got a piece of hardwood on the side of it to hold it together flat. And I kind of just got it clamped up here across the front. Get that welded and then I'll put a piece in here across here. That's what we got. So I got a couple ideas on building this little tiny camp as far, as far as the walls are framed. Guys, I, I'm either going to do like a light gauge metal um, kind of tubing bit like every four feet and then put some wood purlings to that. Or I was thinking about building it right out of wood. But I think the tubing idea would be quite a bit lighter, so I'm kind of leaning towards that. Um, not sure if you know what I mean, but getting some like 1x3 tubing, light 
not really that thick, kind of light and welding up like sides and like a pitched roof. And then hooking purlins and bolting the purlins right straight through that frame. Like I said, put them on four foot centers. Let me know what you think about that idea versus like studding this thing out of two by fours and every 16 inches and going that route. Because I could put foam board between those purlins if I had that light gauge steel frame welded to my main frame. Kind of like little metal trusses you know, with the wall and everything all integral and then bolt my purlins running the 24 foot lengthwise right through that frame and then put foam board between those purlins and maybe put some steel siding on the outside. Let me know in the comments what you think about that idea. If you got any better ideas, I'm open to them. Okay guys, I wanna plug these holes here. Got one, two, one there by the tape measure, three, four. So I cut these little plates out of some scrap. Just pieces of the channel iron. Got a few of them down there. So I got this magnet, I'm just gonna Pop it on there like that. And hopefully it'll stay. It's hard to do one handed here, guys. Anyways, I'm going to weld that. That magnet holding it. Just like that. I'm going to fill them in. So that bees and stuff can't get in there. That's where of we're at, off. guys. You can actually schedule it. You can schedule the call every day for like 45 minutes and then go right back to the shop. Yeah. And then what you do is once a day, what I do is I all this welding makes you thirsty. It's got shit in it. Yep. Right, Frank? <laughs> Makes you okay, thirsty, you know, don't it? Josh got a kick out of that video, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I said him that video. I'm telling you. He fucking touched me back. He looks too. Are you serious? This is where we're at on the trailer project. I got to do some more stuff, but about a day's work into it so far. Okay guys, today's dreaded project here, dreaded project I should say, is to cut these stupid things out of here. They're down below the frame because I don't want them there. And I'm probably going to put something up here. I don't know if I'll use them. I don't know if they need to be that heavy. But they, I don't want them underneath there. This is a boat trailer, it was a boat trailer, homemade boat trailer. So they had them down there for the um, bottom of the boat, I believe. So they wanted the extra depth. So we're gonna try to get them out of there and it's gonna suck, I'm sure. I think I'm gonna try first to grind the welds, those big gobby welds off of there. And then underneath along here, I'm gonna try to get my grinder in there and clean that out on both sides and maybe I can whack it with a sledgehammer and break them out of there. That's what I'm gonna try to do. So, and there's four of them, so it's gonna suck, but that's the next thing with this trailer that I know I gotta do without any design changes. That's 
just something that's just gonna move them up so I'm flat on top and flat on bottom. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever changed these house trailer axles over to regular tires and wheels. I'd like to do that with this. I'm not sure where to get the parts. I've been uh, trying to watch some YouTube videos on how to do it. And I also want to change the brakes out. I want to get rid of the house trailer brakes. And the brake flanges are not welded onto these axles, which is good. So I believe you can just bolt different uh, brakes right on there. So I'd like to know how to do that. If any of you guys got any ideas or have done that, let me know down in the comments. Thanks. Okay, guys. Don't try this at home. This is a skill saw blade for cutting metal. This is a used grinding flap wheel with the threaded plastic insert on it. Like I said, I wouldn't advise you to do this at home. I gotta get those cut off of there. So I think I can sneak this right up underneath there and cut those welds. And speaking of welds, I'm gonna wear these welding gloves. In case I slip with that bad boy, I'll have some more protection. But like I said, don't try this at home. This is just for professionals like me. <laughs> Here we go. There goes nothing. That sucks. Gotta do more too. Ah. I got her though. Okay guys, so I got all them stupid pieces out of there. Man, that was not fun. Cut them all out. I just gotta clean up with the grinder. A little bit of welds here and there's some underneath. I can't really see them. Yeah, there. You gotta clean all. I'm gonna clean all that up, and then I think I'm going to. I got some more of this channel, like I use in the front. I think I'm gonna put one piece back in here somewhere in the middle or whatever, just for strength, just to keep the whole thing tied together from twisting or whatever, and. uh not sure if I'm gonna leave both of these up front here. Maybe take one of them out, I'm not sure. Cause I got this one here. So I'm gonna definitely leave that one. So I'll probably put one in the middle there, between here. And then, like I said, I'm not sure if I'll leave this one and that one. And I'm probably gonna put a couple pieces on each side of here, here and here and here. In here I'm trying to keep it strong but not make it super heavy it's already pretty heavy I'm sure I mean it tows real good with the three axles but I'm trying to keep my weight down to a minimum and I'm not sure if I'm gonna put some cross pieces on top of it to widen it or if I'm just gonna go with this width still figuring that out kind of winging it as we go here guys working with what I got so that's where I'm at Okay guys, so I cut 
this piece here out of here because I didn't really think I needed it. So I got one up here and I got another one here. And then there's nothing in there because I cut all the bottom ones out. So I'm going to take this piece I just cut out. I'm going to weld it right here, which is halfway between the back and that brace right there, that middle one right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a dead center there, which I think will tie these together good. And you won't need all them ones underneath. And that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to weld that in. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think, good or bad. Um, pick on my welds if you want. I'm really not a welder. I'm a mason and a builder. But I like to fabricate stuff. So this is a fun project for me. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. So you can follow this build. I'm going to be working on this thing all winter. And you guys that are already subscribed, thanks a lot for all the support. Everything's going well with the channel. And I'll see you again on the next one. I had a big gap to fill here, guys. On both sides, it was a pretty big gap because I cut this out, so I had to curve for the blade. So it's quite a quite a lot of weld in there. Just kept weaving back and forth. Shouldn't go anywhere. Okay, guys. Where we're at. Got that piece in there. I think that's going to be sturdy enough for the center cross braces. I just got to put a couple more in. Put one right in here somewhere. Maybe one over there just to tie this rail to that rail. And that should be good for the main frame. And I'll put my uh, three inch channel iron across the top. I believe that's what I'm gonna do.